All right, so let's see how this code compiles. All right, so now that it's finished drawing, we can take a closer look at it. So we'll zoom in here. And you won't really be able to see it that well, but each of those pixels is, to best of my knowledge, distinct. All right, so starting on the top left, there's the red values are very low, um, but then it adds in uh, for each of those red values, it adds in the green values, and then for each of those green values, it adds in the, the blue values. But you can see as we go from left to right, the uh, red values increase. And those actually might be the individual pixels there. Uh, hello, and welcome to uh, what you might consider a meme program. Uh, in this program, we're going to be using C++ to create a quote-unquote color chart that is going to have over 2 million uh, unique uh, colors uh, with, with one uh, color per pixel. Um, so I won't go over into program too much detail, but I, I would note that a lot of it is derived from header files and strategies from uh, Bjorn Strokes' Programming Principles and Practice. Uh, and also, I also want to give a shout out to Philip Seidler for showing me how to actually incorporate um, uh, RGB color values into this program because I was having a little trouble with that first. So um, I'm going to skip over a lot of the details. Um, if you are following along with program principles and practice, then a lot of this will be familiar to you. So uh, within our main function, um, we're first going to create a window um, uh, that's about 1700 by 1700 pixels. Uh, and then uh, next, and, and feel free to look at the, uh, the text in the comments, uh, the comments in the solution view here if you want any additional information. So uh, next, uh, we will create uh, a vector of rectangles. Now, these rectangles are really just one pixel by one pixel, so they're essentially pixels. Um, but we're going to first, we're going to go through 1,449 different columns uh, represented by I. Then we're going to go through 1,449 different rows. And so for each intersection of row and column there, we're going to add a tiny little one pixel by one pixel rectangle into our vector rectangles. And then we're going to attach those to the window, but we're not going to color them in just yet. Uh, so as far as the coloring goes, uh, so now we have a vector of over 2 million little squares, and we're going to be going through that vector square by square to color them in. And this is how the for loop works. So um, we have these three for loops that nest together, um, and these are for setting the red, green, and blue values of each square uh, in, our, um, in our giant square, our square of squares, so to speak. So the first for loop is going to represent the red, uh, the red RGB value. Integer G is going to represent uh, the green values of each pixel, and then integer blue represent uh, the blue values in each pixel. And so for reasons I'll, I'll explain later, um, or reasons you might guess, uh, I'm not going to include every single possible value uh, for these three um, colors in between 0 and 255, but instead I'm going to do every, every other one, which I believe results in um, going through every even value between 0 and 255 for red, green, and blue. Uh, and so we're going to examine just those. And this third for loop is going to set the blue value for each pixel. Uh, and then we're going to fill the pixel at every point, uh, point for every point S in our vector of pixels with the current set of colors. Uh, so S starts out at 0 and is going to go past uh, 2 million by the time this for loop's over. But each time we get to this part, we're going to be setting uh, the pixel referred to by point S in our vector with uh, the current uh, RGB value in the for loop. Um, and so, yeah, uh, basically, by the time we get to the end of this loop, we'll have gone through all unique combinations of uh, red, green, and blue, uh, all even numbered combinations of red, green, and blue from 0 to 255. And then we just kind of keep the window open. Uh, we have our catch and return component. And finally, uh, now that you see, I just want to explain some of the math. So um, I would have liked to show every possible pixel um, in, you know, from created by combinations 
uh, of red, green, and blue, but um, that would require a larger monitor because there will be over 16 million unique colors that you can make uh, by adjusting those possible uh, blue values, red, green, and blue values. Um, so I would need a screen that's at least uh, 4096 by 4096 pixels. Now, an 8K screen would, would accomplish that, but I only have my, my 4K screen. Um, so instead, I uh, set, I decided to look at every other value uh, in that range of 0 to 255. Um, and so, yeah, and that still amounts to over 2 million different color values. Um, so to figure out how large my square needed to be, uh, I just took the square root of that, and it comes out to about 1448. So uh, I made the color chart square um, 1449 by 1449 pixels. And then I made the overall window a little larger just to make sure that everything was, was visible. So I, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching. I'm very much still a newcomer to uh, C++ and to programming in general, but uh, I enjoy working on this little project and uh, I liked the result it created. So um, I hope that you will found it at least uh, somewhat entertaining as well. Uh, thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day and God bless. Bye-bye.